What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn your post notifications. It's a rainy day today outside. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while, so I was like, you know what? Let me pick up uh, the camera here and let's go ahead and do a vlog today. Um, it's Monday, which is usually my day off, but today I am going to fit in three cuts today. Uh, my wife, she has a minor surgery that she has to go through today as well. So we're going to have somewhat of an eventful day. Um, prayers up for my wife for sure. Um, any surgery, you know, you want to make sure that uh, you're saying your prayers so that uh, everything goes smoothly. So um, it is 7.28. I got my first one at 7.30. I got one at 9. And then also, I'm sorry, 7.30, 8, and 9. Uh, it's going to knock out three cuts this morning. And uh, yeah, getting ready for this Halloween rush. Halloween will be Monday. And then your boy's birthday is next week, Wednesday. So uh, looking forward to the fall month. You can see hoodie weather. I love I love the fall football season. You got nice, cool uh, weather. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And uh, I'll let y'all take a peek at these cuts. We got my boy Kenny in here looking like a statue. Players, players mess up too. Got him, nicked him in the corner. I've been doing this for seven years, but hey, it's all good. But the cut looking icy. This boy got a weird pattern for his hair growth on the neck too, but we got it straight. Yes, sir. What's good, everybody? So you've seen the cut. Uh, got my boy Nick on the corner. He had some, a little pimple there, but got him cleaned up. But I'm cleaning up my clippers here. And I just thought I'd go over what's at my station as far as clipper wise, show you what I'm working with for the past like three weeks. These are the clippers that are currently sitting here. Um, a lot of them is because I did reviews on them. I did videos on them. So I want to just continually see how they operated. So with that being said, I know I did a review on the uh, the Pissed Off Barber Slime 2. And I also did a review on the, the Ghost Trimmer. So these two are still on my station. I use these. I'm about to drop a tutorial using only these on a uh, like high taper. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not a high taper, on a low taper. And that should be uh, sometime this week. I also have my uh, trusty wall magic clip. That's That's been in my station. I just like how uh, these specific ones cut. I don't know what it is, but I have them gapped really close. And they aren't the most powerful clipper, of course, but I don't know, it's just something about the OG magic clip and, and the type of blend that it put out. So that's why it's still in my station. I also got the wall gold magic clip this has a lot more power than the actual original magic clip i really just dig the gold colorway right now and the power so it's a good deep bulker that's what i use right now i also have the gold fx skeleton that i'm using and this one is just going to be the goat of all trimmers for me at the moment i have tried the uh, sabers and i want to get those those sabers they cut I, I don't know i haven't really used them enough to actually uh, make a decision or opinion about if this is better or that's better so i have to buy them put them more to use and then go from there so i'm gonna get the sabers here pretty soon i also have the low pro fx that's what i'm using as well um i just like the shape of this clipper i like the dlc blade it, it's a good debulker as well but it's kind of uh, wearing out on me a little bit. Got really loud, really quick. But um, other than that, other than the loudness, it's 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 a good it's a good trimmer, great trimmer. Um, majority of the time, I'm edging up with uh, the gold effects to be honest. But it just gets a lot closer. If you haven't seen in my latest video, I did get a trimmer and clipper combo, uh, the Suprint. So here's the clipper. And here is the trimmer. So I'm still using both of these at my station. This puts out really soft blends. This fade blade on here, it really does some, some work. Uh, the only downfall is just you got two notches. So the lever, you know, it, it, you don't get much lever play in between. So it's a lot of flicking motion. But because of this blade, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what it is, but uh, it cuts soft blends, kind of like the Babbles blade does. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but when you use the Babbles, I don't know, it just seems effortless with blending. And that's kind of how this feels right here. So 
Um, it hasn't given me any problems as far as power, uh, charging, any of that. So it's, it's a great clipper, uh, debulks, fades well, um, can't complain. You can get these both uh, using my link up here or here. I'll put it up there. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, but go check out that link, $56 if you're looking for a starter combo set. So check these out. Um, the trimmer, I honestly enjoy using the trimmer a lot uh, to debulk and as well as uh, edge up like kids because it's not a harsh blade. It doesn't like bite or anything like that. It doesn't scrape. Um, it's, a really, it's a really good blade to use like on older folks or kids. So check out that combo, hit the link, go copy a set. The goat of all shavers, y'all can fight me, but uh, it's gotta go with the, the Andis profile shaver. I don't know what it is. It gets super, super close. Um, got a little Frankenstein edition here with the gray, uh, <laughs> the gray blade with the rose gold. But to me, this is just the greatest shaver out there right now. But another shaver that comes close to that for me is gonna be the Stylecraft Wireless Prodigy. I really enjoy this because it just wirelessly charges. I can stick it on this little 245 power, power mat right here and up. Uh, charges up so i really dig this one dig the color dig the shape as you can see in the shop we got all types of red going on so it just goes with the vibe but as far as clippers that is what i'm working with here so like i said if you like any of what i showed you in this this video here any of these clippers there's gonna be a link up here somewhere you can go and copy you your own uh, gold magic clip, your own super, your own uh, wall OG magic clip, or your pissed off barber uh, clipper by clicking the link, heading over there to Amazon and copy you a pair. And honestly, I say Amazon because a, a lot of times it's going to be the cheapest way to get uh, clippers fast. They got their Amazon Prime two day shipping, of course. But if you don't have Amazon Prime and you want to save some money, you can go to Stylecraft or Gamma Plus websites. Use the code JBLENDS to save you 10% off your purchase. Um, for the pissed off barber, you can go to his website and use code JBLENDS to get you free shipping. Um, right now, the uh, his newest clipper, the Phantoms, aren't available on the Amazon site, so you can go to his website, go cop those clippers, and shipping from the UK is a little pricey. So with that, use the code JBLENDS, get you free shipping. And uh, his phantoms are supposed to be off the chain too. And I'm hoping to get those here pretty soon. He did message me and tell me that he's going to send them. And he sent those last Monday. So international shipping, I'm sure, is a bit of time. But they're going to get here momentarily. We're going to try those out. I also got the crazy good uh, charging box coming in. So y'all stay tuned for that unboxing. Um, just a lot more tools coming in that you know I can review and unbox. Uh, I love getting new stuff. And I love cycling stuff out. As y'all didn't see in the video, uh, my favorite, favorite clipper is the Stylecraft Rebel, but they're broken. I have yet to receive a response from Stylecraft. So, um, but other than that, that's all the tools I've been using. Like I said, click the link, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description as well, where you can get that. Also the codes for the pissedoffbarber.com and stylecraft.com. So my 9 a.m. canceled, so I didn't get a chance to film that cut. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the bank, get my money deposited from the weekend. Sometimes my wife can't always get to it. So uh, I'm gonna go there, head over there, and then uh, head back to the kids and my wife and get her to her appointment. Um, but my 9 a.m. ended up canceling their appointment. Like I said, I don't know if I did mention it, but they canceled their appointment. They're coming an hour away from a little town called Clarendon. Uh, I think it's 45 minutes to an hour away. But it's just a blessing that somebody would choose to come and get a haircut that far away. So, you know, I'm not going to charge him for the cancellation. Uh, it was an hour before that he let me know. And um, a lot of times I do charge that cancellation fee for a lot of my clients here in town because I feel like there's really no excuse to just, you know, send me a text or whatever. I have a 24-hour cancellation policy. And if you don't, if you don't cancel within that 24 hours, you do have to pay a $30 fee to book again. I do take my time seriously. Uh, but in this instance, like I said, you just got to be humble sometimes and count your blessings and just accept the fact that, you know, this man is coming from miles away, like I said, to come get a cut here in Amarillo. And it's just, uh, you know, it's a blessing that people would choose to make that time to travel and uh, sacrifice that time because that's like three hours if you think about it. Come here, drive here, get a haircut, go back. And that's like three hours of your day. So it's a blessing that somebody would, you know, I don't want to say waste that time, but spend that time to go and come see me to get that haircut. But uh, we had to reschedule for this weekend on Sunday. He is a barber as well. So 
Uh, look forward to seeing him this next weekend, get him cleaned up. I get to the bank, get to the home, get my kids, drop them on my mom, and then go to the hospital. And uh, hopefully, prayerfully, everything runs smoothly. And uh, we'll see what else the day brings. So got the kids and the wifey, and we're shopping for a jacket for the little man. You like that one? Look. Yeah, I like that. You like that jacket? Mm -hmm. Kai's rocking the NMDs. I got on the Pippins. And the baby, she's got on some heat too. She got on the foam posits. So we just dropped the kids off. And uh, well, my youngest uh, daughter, my baby girl, and um, Kai. But uh, I got some merch in. My homeboy met us up at Walmart and he got the uh, Halloween merch I put out. So I'll let y'all take a look at that right here. So this is some Halloween merch. We got the, the faded with the razor and we also got the logo on the sleeve. We also got a uh, Jason mask with the razors and there's also a logo on the sleeve as well. And then we're missing one more set that we need to throw in there. Um, it's a gray t-shirt uh, with a different type of scheme of this, but on gray. But a uh, shout out to him. I'll throw his uh, IG in here. You could go take a check, take a look at his work. Um, but Halloween themed tees, J blends, merch. Y'all stay tuned for them merch drops. I'll be dropping on Instagram and Facebook. If y'all not following me, at J blends underscore. But uh, on to the hospital we go. I'm just being a goof, y'all. We can talk. We don't have to whisper, but we're here waiting. And then uh, we're gonna slide on out after this surgery goes A1 times a billy. We got our piece of merch that we are shipping off to Lubbock, Texas. I'm gonna send it off in the mail. Hopefully it's there by Wednesday. What's good, everybody? So we're leaving the pharmacy at Walgreens. Wife is doing good. Surgery went well. That's a blessing. So gonna get these kids some food and then uh, head on home. I know y'all seen earlier, it was all sunny and now it's uh, super wet, cold, fall weather. What'd you get for dinner? Uh, McDonald's. What did you get specifically? A burger with fries. <laughs> What did you get for, what did you get? Um, McDonald's. What did you order? French fries and a burger party. Oh, you can't do that to your brother came in here. Okay, son. You ready to eat? Yes. After a long day, we finally made it home. Got mama with the baby. Beetlejuice. And last but not least, we have the pissed off Barbara Phantom that finally came in as well as the Pissed Off Barber Mini School Slime Edition. So I'll unbox these and let y'all take a peek at those in another video. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn your post notifications. Until next time, God bless.